Welcome fellow explorers, and this is all about Mars surface. In this episode, Perseverance faces an unexpected challenge. It chokes on a rock sample, captures breathtaking images of Jezero Crater, and even spots what looks like a face carved into a Martian rock. This video is part of our ongoing series following the Mars rover Perseverance every three months. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, be sure to check those out first. Links are in the description. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next Martian update. This is all about Mars surface, where every image unlocks a new mystery and every mystery brings us closer to the truth. It's Sol 1265, and Perseverance has just collected two new rock samples from an area known as Brax. The rocks here tell a fascinating story. Their layered formations hint at ancient volcanic activity shaped by flowing water. Pausing for a moment, the rover captures one of its most detailed panoramas yet, a stunning look across the dusty expanse of Jezero Crater. Sometimes we forget we're looking at the surface of a completely different planet, millions of kilometers away. To put it in perspective, if you drove to Mars at 100 miles per hour, that's about 161 kilometers per hour. It would take you around 39 years. And that's when Mars is closest to Earth. At its farthest, the journey would stretch to a staggering 284 years. By Sol 4279, Perseverance spots an old friend, Ingenuity, the tiny helicopter. It rests on its 10th airfield, tilted slightly on a 6-degree incline, fresh off its 16th flight. Both the rover and helicopter are now preparing to head back toward their original landing site, before pushing even farther into uncharted territory. On this map, the white line shows the rover's path so far while the blue line marks NASA's ambitious future route. To get there, Perseverance must retrace its steps around the hazardous Seita region, an area full of sand dunes too dangerous to cross directly. While navigating around Seita, Perseverance encounters a curious rock named Isol. The team orders the rover to abraid and sample it. The first drilling goes perfectly, revealing one of the oldest rock samples ever collected on Mars. The second sample, however, creates a strange pattern of holes, forming what looks eerily like a face staring back at us. But before the team can admire it further, Perseverance detects an anomaly and halts all operations. The rover reports the issue to NASA. By Sol 3014, NASA engineers identify the problem. Chunks of rock have jammed the bit carousel, the mechanism that handles sample tubes. Unsure how much debris remains, the team decides to safely eject the leftover rocks back onto the Martian surface. This series of images shows the drill angled six degrees downward, releasing the debris below. In the before and after shots, can you spot the subtle difference? To ensure safety, Perseverance performs a spin test. Most of the debris clears out, but two small pebbles remain lodged inside. After extensive tests on Earth, using the rover's twin, Optimism, NASA concludes the rocks pose no real danger. Still, to be extra cautious, the rover is commanded to climb onto a nearby rock, tilting its body so gravity can help the pebbles fall free. It works. The mechanism is cleared, and Perseverance is back to full strength. The team decides to give Isol another try. This time, the drilling goes flawlessly, and even better, the same sample tube is reused successfully. Meanwhile, Ingenuity faces its first ever grounding on another planet, not because of a malfunction, but due to bad Martian weather. A regional dust storm captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter temporarily grounds both the rover and helicopter, visible in this image as a tiny white dot amid the storm. Once the storm clears, Perseverance sets a new record, completing the longest single-soul drive ever on Mars. This photo 
shows the fresh wheel tracks stretching across the red landscape. Ingenuity returns to the skies for its 19th flight, a short hop on the way back to the landing site. Mars on Sol 1367. Perseverance has reached a landscape covered in rocks that are believed to be millions of years old. But these rocks are not ordinary. Some display strange circular textures, patterns that almost resemble fossilized formations seen on Earth. Perseverance zooms in with its high-resolution cameras. One rock shows tiny spherical nodules, as if the surface once held traces of something alive. NASA scientists back on Earth are stunned. Could these shapes be natural or the first hints of ancient biological activity on Mars? The rover scans the area using its spectrometer, detecting faint traces of carbon compounds, elements often associated with organic material. It's too early to draw conclusions, but one thing is clear. Mars still guards its secrets tightly. Meanwhile, Ingenuity, the brave little helicopter, prepares for another flight. Its destination, an unexplored ridge, a place where no human-made machine has ever been. This marks its 20th mission. Despite thin air and low sunlight, Ingenuity rises gracefully above the red terrain. Far below, Perseverance's tire tracks trace a perfect path across the dust. During the flight, one image stands out, a massive rock with strange grooves and holes etched into its surface, as though sculpted by some unknown force. The NASA team studies the photo. Is this just erosion, or could it be evidence of ancient Martian chemistry at work? Perseverance now halts near a peculiar formation nicknamed Argo. At first glance, the rock looks soft and weathered, but beneath the surface, it's completely different, dense, layered, and filled with small, rounded inclusions. Drilling begins. The rover collects a new core sample. What it finds stuns everyone. Within the drilled rock are tiny, fossil-like microstructures. They're not confirmed evidence of life, but their shape, texture, and arrangement are strikingly similar to early microbial fossils found on Earth. As one NASA geologist remarks, even if these are purely natural formations, they suggest that Mars once experienced geological conditions very similar to early Earth. Ingenuity soars once again, this time to scout the path ahead for perseverance. Its camera captures stunning aerial views of the Red Valleys, some areas showing patterns that appear to have been transformed by heat and immense pressure long ago. These visual clues indicate that Mars was once geologically active, a world shaped by forces of energy and change. Sol 4621. Perseverance completes one of its most challenging drillings yet. The precious sample is sealed inside a tube a tiny time capsule that may someday return to Earth. Inside it could lie the story of what Mars once was, and whether life ever found a way on this silent world. The Martian sun sets behind the distant hills. Perseverance rolls onward, and above it, ingenuity glides through the fading orange light. Their story is far from over. In fact, the real discoveries are only just beginning. In the next episode, Perseverance will approach a zone emitting mysterious energy signals, readings unlike anything seen before. Are they natural? Or could they point to something even stranger? Click here to find out. Thank you for watching All About Mars Surface. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest findings from the Red Planet.